is the weekend and we are going to a festival called All About the Herbs in Lexington, South Carolina, and we're super excited to see what new fun things we're going to find. Can you say good morning, Charlie? Look who we found at the Herb Festival. We've got Say Mojo Homestead, Cass, and then we've got Willowbrook Homestead, Jesse and Chastity. Okay, so Charlie and I had a great time at that herb sale and we got a lot of really, really cool things and I'll show you what I am going to do with everything. So I'll go over these more in detail, but you can see I got quite a nice variety of things here. And I also got some lettuce to put into my green stock. And then these are some herbs that I got from our local FFA sale about two weeks ago. So I'll share what I'm gonna do with those as well. Up here, this is the first level of our porch and it's right off the kitchen and I absolutely love it. We get the best sunsets up here and I'm going to show you the view. It's a nice big porch. This is what really made me fall in love with our homestead. We can just see all of our land from here. And it's just a gorgeous place. There's the two puppies. And then we go down the stairs and we've got another level here. And on this level, what I want to do is I want to make a cocktail garden. So I can come out here and I can make fresh cocktails, fresh drinks. The kids can pick out what they want to put in their lemonade. And so I've got a garden bed here and then I've got this cool little thing here. And then we go down another set of stairs and we've got more porch. So as I said, it's just a really big spacious porch. It's really cool. So here's my lemon tree. And then I've got my green stalks. And so what I want to do down here is I want to make this into a place to come down and get stuff for salads. So I'm going to have, I'm going to add some more lettuce to this green stalk. I've got my lemon, which I love to make dressings with. That's an olive tree. Those are strawberries. And then in here, I'm going to put some peppers and mini tomatoes and some edible flowers. So basically what I want to do is create kind of a food scape coming down from our porch. There'll be the cocktail garden and then you'll walk down to this lower level and it'll be everything to make fresh salad. Because that way when I'm cooking or entertaining, we can just come right out on the porch and grab the fresh herbs and vegetables that we need. I need to amend these flower beds from last year. So there's some pretty good soil in there. I'm just going to add some enriched bedding soil. Some It's enriched with plant food to boost up the nutrition a little bit and then I'm going to get my herbs in there. We had a huge storm roll here recently in South Carolina. So the first thing that I'm doing is getting all of the debris out of these beds and then I'm going to put some more soil in them and then I'm gonna plan out where I wanna put everything. The worst homesteading dog ever, DOG, is helping me as per usual. Drop it. Drop it. Drop. All right, so clearly I've got too much time on my hands. Okay, so I've got the herb garden planted and so this is going to be for the cocktail garden. And I've got two varieties of mint here. I've got, this one is a spearmint. This one is a mojito mint. And oh my goodness, I wish that you could smell this. It smells so good. This is going to be perfect for making some Moscow mules. Mint is also gonna be really good for mojitos. And then down here, I've got some thyme and I left a space open because I'm gonna plant some lavender next to the thyme. And then down here on this lower level, I've got some lemon verbena, which is gonna be really good with some gin for a gimlet cocktail. And then I've got some basil over here. And if you haven't had basil and strawberry and vodka yet, it's absolutely amazing. 
this garden bed, I love it so much. I think it is so cute. I've got some pansies that are volunteering from last year, which is fantastic because they are edible. So I am just going to add a little bit more soil to this bed and then I am going to continue to put the herbs in here. So you can see the cute little pansies that are peeking out. I left those in there. And then this rosemary is struggling, but we'll see if it comes back. I've got some parsley and I planted that because I want to be able to use it for not only cooking, but also Bloody Marys. And then this is an edible geranium. I've got some nasturtium here. So that's a nice edible flower that'll look really pretty in cocktails. I've got some tarragon chives and then I've got some oregano. I think it's gonna be really fun to kind of play with some of this tarragon and oregano and chives and just some of these savory herbs to go along with bourbon drinks. Then over here I planted my pineapple sage because it needed a container. It's gonna grow really big, so I've got it in this container, and I have always loved. If you've seen our chicken village, you know I've got a chicken coop that's got some teal and red in it. I love the way that red and teal look together. And then these are the things that I couldn't fit in here. Well, they're gonna grow really tall, so I wasn't able to get them into the herb garden. So this is lemongrass, and I'm gonna have to put it somewhere else. And then I've got fennel, which is also gonna grow, grow really tall. I was talking to my friends at St. Mojo Homestead. I was talking to my friend Jeremy and Jeremy said that I should be planting these in, in the ground so that they can grow really nice and tall. And then I've just got also eucalyptus, which is gonna grow big because it's a tree. So I gotta put it somewhere else. I've got some borage and then this is hyssop. And again, it's gonna grow really nice and tall. And so I just have to figure out where to put these other things. But I'm super excited to come out here and be able to fix myself a cocktail. And I think it's going to be really fun to have these two culinary areas just right outside my kitchen door. I simply just have to walk down the stairs. I would love to know if you grow a cocktail garden, what kind of fun things are you growing?